Hey, what's going on, Samurais? And welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys are brand new around here and you're checking out my channel for the first time, possibly think about going and clicking the subscribe button. Go click it, go click it. I know you want to. We would love to have you as part of our family. Also, if you like today's video and you want to see more content just like this, show me by smashing that thumbs up button. If you have any questions about anything I'm talking about, make sure you ask them in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. So today I want to make a video for you guys clarifying a video I made a couple weeks ago. And I'm talking about this video right here where we showed people how to bring an image sequence into the Blackmagic Video Switcher so you can play an animated lower third. Now, there was some confusion about this. Can the video switcher that you own, your model, actually do this function? And also, where do I actually create the animated lower third at? So let me start off by talking about where to create the animated lower third at. Now, I made another video about this. I will put a link to that in the description below. Now, I create mine inside of Apple Motion, but you can create them in basically any software that allows you to export an image sequence and an alpha channel. So that's all you need to do to be able to create an animated lower third. But again, you cannot actually create them inside of the Blackmagic software. You need to create them in another software, render out the file, and then bring it in as like an image sequence into your video switcher. Now let's talk about what models of Switcher are able to play the image sequence. So your Switcher needs to be able to support media pull clips. Now there's an easy way to figure out if the Switcher you own can do that. Let me show you. So to figure out if your video switcher supports being able to bring in animated image sequences like I showed you in my other video, if you want to check out that video, I will put a link in the description below to that video. All you need to do is head over to the Blackmagic website, click on products, click on video switchers, click on the series of video switcher you own, and then click on tech specs choose the switcher you own. So for me, it's going to be the 2ME Production Studio 4K. And then scroll down to the media player section and look for media pull clip. That is the function your switcher needs to be able to bring in image sequences to play them like I showed you in my other video. So another question I've been getting is, if my video switcher doesn't support media pull clips, can I still create and use animated lower thirds? And the answer is yes. All you're going to need to do is use some type of external hardware or software to be able to play a image sequence and then bring that in to your video switcher as a source. And in my opinion, that's probably the better way to do it. All right, if you guys have any other questions about this topic, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And until next time, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.